So hi. Sorry. <laughs> um, I like you know there's there's like music playing in my head at all times, but um, okay, let's focus. Um, so hi, my name is Alvina Alvina from Mind Be Well, where the focus is always trying to reconnect you to information that you need to manage your mental health. Uh, thank you for tuning in to this video and to my channel. Um, but let's get into a few questions before diving into today's topic. So do you find that it has been difficult to see things from another perspective lately? Has it been challenging to adjust the activities that you're used to doing because you're not able to do some of the things you want to do right now. Um, um, also, are you always expecting others to know what you want them to do without communicating that to them? This in any way describes you. Let's get into today's topic, focusing on the expectations that you have that can create a challenge in how you move forward with things in your life. So your expectations are created based on what you're used to, you know, things you've learned. So seeing and doing things outside of that norm can bring things to a halt. Anything from the expectations you have about what a certain aspect of your life needs to look like or how you think others should do certain things, the expectations you have can create a space where you don't push forward because of how you're setting up your thinking process. You have set it up to where change is not allowed, that there's only one way to do certain things, and that people should be able to read your mind and should do what you would normally do in certain moments. And so all of these, based on what you expect, can create this imbalance with your thoughts and your emotions because with these, you can feel some anger, you know, maybe some disappointment, irritability, or guilt in these scenarios. And instead of making adjustments, maybe challenging your thoughts, learning to communicate what you need, you can sit in these overwhelming feelings, allowing your thoughts to ruminate about why things are so wrong, why you can't do certain things, and why they just couldn't do a certain behavior. And that is just what you sit with instead of snapping out of that cycle um, to really make a change. And just to make sure you're, you're following me, um, and, and I hope I'm resonating with you in some way, um, a few examples that I had. So let's say you have a certain expectation on what a workout looks like. You know, if it's not 30 to 45 minutes of exercise, then for you, you may throw the whole workout away because it doesn't fit with the expectation you have followed over the years of what working out looks like. With this, it's about learning to change up your mindset and redefining what this area of your life can look like. You know, I think, you know, with this, it's always about what is the outcome that you're wanting. If it's just making sure that you are increasing some endorphins for a brief period of time, then really shortening that amount of time that you would work out, especially with, you know, limits to your time for a, on a daily basis. I think you have to think about what you're getting from a workout, what the, the, the outcome that you're wanting and really trying to, you know, figure out, you know, how you can make that happen if it doesn't look the same all the time. Also, let's say that you usually try to call your friends on a weekly basis, thinking that being a good friend, you're expected to do this. And let's say this behavior isn't reciprocated by your friends. And at times you get a bit angry with them and also with yourself during those tough weeks where you're wanting them to reach out to you, but they don't. This is a way where you set this high expectation on yourself. And so anything outside of this makes you place a label on yourself that you're not a good friend or may, or it may make you feel like you're not dependable, but it can also be a situation where you have to be able to think that not everyone is gonna do the same thing as you, that what you might find important may be different than the next person. And it's being okay with that, accepting that, communicating your needs to find balance and also again learning to redefine this area of your life and how you approach relationships in general. I think it's so important to understand that we are able to redefine our lives in any moment. Um, we are always able to you know create a new narrative like we don't have to stick with the same things over and over um, with life and the challenges that come like we have to adjust. That's just a little tidbit. Um, but anyways, so with those examples, let me move into some ways your expectations could be keeping you stuck and what you could do about each. So first, you are not willing to adjust with what life gives you. Life can get busy, like I said. Work can be overwhelming some days and family and children can have its challenges. But just because things occur, it doesn't mean that you can't make adjustments. We have these expectations on how we want 
to live our life, but at times we don't give ourselves flexibility just in case other things arise. So maybe on certain days, making adjust adjustments to the amount of time you do an activity. Maybe you're not able to give a full 45 minutes like usual, but ask yourself what you can give. Also find joy in the fact that you were able to do this activity, even if for a shortened period of time, savor in the experience that you got to take some time out of your busy day or week. Um, be in the moment of just enjoying what you can, right? Because we all need that right now. All right, so next, you have a bit of perfection is thinking going on where you feel things have to be perfect at all times and if things aren't then certain things can't happen at all instead of this being a strength that can you know propel you to do some great things it can be a weakness that limits your abilities you know what comes to mind uh, with perfectionist thinking is a cognitive distortion called all or nothing thinking so you think in a way of extremes never in the middle so if things aren't perfect then you're inadequate or things are unacceptable or you're a failure and I think with this these labels that we can create and put on ourselves they can really you know damage like some of that self-esteem that we have and that motivation that we have um, and also like like you know the the the, the title of this um, uh, video it can really keep you stuck procrastination can also show up here since you spend so much time thinking about these unrealistic expectations you have you won't have a way to know what that first step you can take will look like because of the pressure that you're putting on yourself when you tend to think in this way, how do you think you'll be able to get things done? It's about adjusting your thought process, diving into questions on why this type of thinking exists in your world. How do you start to allow certain things to happen in your life? Or how do you try new things so that you're open to them instead of thinking that all things need to fit in this perfect little box that we don't need to have? We can't be perfect at all times. You have to allow yourself to make mistakes. You have to allow yourself to make adjustments to your life. Like it can't just be set in one way and that's it. Like, you know, things happen. And I think what life is, it's all about learning. It's all about um, growing. It's all about developing, you know, new strategies. And so I think really get out of that mindset of needing to be perfect at all times. All right, so last thing is another cognitive distortion I have for you. And it's uh, something called should statements. So your should statements are rules you have set for yourself or others. It's um, a way that you view the world and it's another way to keep you stuck in a box. You know, thinking of what your own uh, should statements are and a few examples that I've come across over the years. Um, so one, I should be happy all the time. No, you shouldn't. Um, everyone should like me. You're not gonna be for everybody. They should understand how I feel not if it's not communicated. Um, she should be in my corner because we've been friends the longest. I think whatever your shit statements are, be aware of them, have a sit down to really look at the situ look at the situation that causes certain emotions where you create certain expectations and jot down what these shit statements are and ways to let go of them and adjust them in some way so they're not so rigid. All right, so one last thing um, before you leave, you know, life may not look exactly as how you've planned for it, but certain things you do can give you the effect you're wanting. It's really about being open to, you know, different <laughs> experiences. It's knowing that life and your path isn't going to follow a straight line. And it's knowing that your expectations of yourself and others can change. And it's allowing that in your life to be able to move towards this life you want instead of being stuck on these unrealistic expectations you're striving towards that make you think there's only one way to get certain outcomes. You know, I want you to take care of yourself. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you're staying safe. Um, and drop a comment below just to say hi. Uh, check out more of my videos and I will see you again. Bye.